I watched this on Tui TV. Um, I used to watch this movie quite a bit when I was a kid, but it kind of messes itself up. Um, I have this whole thing about how the rules can be messed up if they're not worded certain ways or whatever. That honestly just kind of mess up the plot. Um, like she wishes that people would treat her like an adult so she becomes an adult. And then she wishes her parents would actually understand her. But they don't really listen to her and they just go in their trailer. They throw it in their face. They throw it in your face about the... Um, the adult rule, because it's a big part. She turns into a full-ass adult, and that's a big part of the plot now, and, you know, it's a big problem. But for the parent thing, they just kind of gloss over it. They don't even explain it. It's pretty obvious what happened, though, because obviously they can understand her, but they don't want to listen. But that makes them pretty asshole parents, but it just makes it pretty much even better that we don't even see them in the final scene but basically a girl has like 16 wishes and she writes them on this paper that she's been making since she was a kid and makes some wishes kind of useless which is kind of realistic because you know kids do dumb stuff so one of the wishes like i wish i like sushi sushi which obviously never happens in the movie but yeah, Debbie Ryan does okay. It's you know just a cliche kids movie. It's entertaining. It's not bad, but it was a childhood movie, so I wanted to watch it. Um, and find out that the person that hates her is because she stole her best friend when she was little or something. She's mad at her because her friend just kind of stopped hanging out with her. It's it's weird. Like, she, Debbie Ryan's character became friends with, um, what's his face? Um, yeah, and they don't even say Mike's name till near the end, it's crazy. I guess his name was Jay. Yeah, his name was Jay. She become friends with Jay's and Jay quits hanging out with her. So now she's mad at Abby, Debbie Ryan's character, Krista Cook. Yeah, Krista is mad at Abby because Jay stopped hanging out with her. Very, very logical. They try and make it like a big deal, like, I made you lose your best friend. She didn't stop... <laughs> It's kind, of, it's kind of goofy. Like, she didn't just kidnap a best friend and never let him hang out with her again. He just kind of stopped hanging out with her. It wasn't wasn't exactly Abby's fault. It was just a coincidence that she's the one that he started hanging out with more. You know, it's, it's fine. It's an average movie. It's not terrible. But I always thought that was kind of stupid. Um... And because she becomes an adult, she gets, like, a credit card or something, so she's able to just get fucking clothes now. Because she wanted a dress, but she couldn't pay for it. Because Krista literally fucking steals Jay's wallet. And we never actually see her, um, give Jay his wallet back or apologize for that, by the way. So they kind of just gloss over that. (laughs) But... He goes to pay for her dress because he likes her or whatever and their friends or whatever is it is something. And um his wallet falls out of his back pocket and she takes it. She buys like a pair of sunglasses and makes a snide comment about how they're not gonna be buying anything. So now the worker believes this random customer or whatever and Kicks him out of the store for being children that don't, that aren't, that aren't going to pay for clothes or whatever. It's kind of weird. And then she makes her wish about wanting to be treated like an adult for some reason. 
I guess it kind of makes sense since she called them children. But I don't think it's actually going to really make a difference here. It's not like she can pay for stuff because she doesn't have money. Which I didn't mention that. There was like bees or horners or whatever in her house. So her money is at her house, but she can't get it. But um, anyways, she wants to be treated like an adult or whatever now. So now she immediately has a credit card because all adults have credit cards. It's kind of funny to think about. You just turn 18 and now you have a credit card. It's, it's funny to think about. Though she does turn 22, to be fair. But still. Kind of weird. Yeah, that's honestly really about it. There just isn't much to talk about since it's a kid's movie. It's not too plot driven. There isn't too many things to critique. It's just a fun kid's movie that has mistakes and doesn't um, fully grasp what they're putting on the screen for people to watch, I guess. Because, you know, some of it, if you think about it too hard, it's kind of dumb, but it's enjoyable. So there's that.